hello guys and welcome uh, back I suppose it's not really a board because we're not flying anywhere so uh, the title of this video or vlog I suppose it really is is noise now I know most of you well, most of you don't it's 1 in 234 people have autism now with that those of you who have it and those of you who know people who have it will know come sensory issues now um, one of the, the issues a lot of people have issues with is noise. Now, some people really can't deal with that and wear ear defenders, which I can't judge you for that. That's brilliant. That's problem. You have, you have a solution. I, in, in turn, use these things. You can't really see them because my hand's shaking too much. But they're uh, earphones. And you just put these in your ears. Now, currently, they're plugged into my computer. But if I had them, and I was just walking down the street with these in my ears, it's a lot more low key. You know, it's two white things in my ears, so people can tell I'm actually listening, I've got something in my ears. So they don't try and talk to me, which is quite funny when they do. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, so that's one option. And these really are good as no noise deadening. They actually, the skull candies, skull candies, and they came as sold as noise deadening earphones. And I thought, awesome, love it, awesome, thumbs up. Thumbs up, Skull Candy. Love you. Um, but, you know, I thought, uh, no, he's deadening. Not that good. Well, I nearly kind of paid for my life by thinking that, with, with my life, even by thinking that, because um, first I had these in my ears, walking home, and this kind of like bridge, which hasn't got a footpath, so I was walking just on the right hand side, and it's one car wide, on the right hand side as you're supposed to. I turned my head around, and there's a car two feet behind me. Literally, that far. And I didn't hear it coming. Okay, now option two I've got for you are these. Well, it's the same thing, really. Headphones. Now, these headphones, I personally prefer these if I'm kind of just sitting around for, for ages. Because if I'm just sitting on a bus or something, or sitting in a... Like, I, was, I actually used these when I was coming back from Canada. And I was literally just sat with these in my ears, and I was sitting in Terminal 5. They didn't have any music on. I mean, you know. But I, it took maybe 50% of the noise away. And that was enough to let me sleep for half an hour. Which I needed quite a lot. So awesome noise deadening headphones there. And they really do help. And as I say, they're a lot more low key for, for if, you, if you do have autism. Um, and the, you know, and they're not as noticeable. And they have the same effect. And you can just do this. Or if you, you know, if you have... I prefer, personally for me, I have a number of songs slash pieces of music which really kind of relax me. I should really like relax me. There we go. And, uh, you know, you can put this down in these if you use a mobile phone. I mean, I know I, I know I do. And as well, they fold flat. But yeah, no. That's not where they fold flat. That's it, must be. Okay, I think I seem to have broken them. There we go, fold flat. The fold flat for easy transport. So that's going to be the end of kind of part one of this autism coping strategy series. This is one I'm going to make for people like me who have a form of autism. There are so many forms to it. I'm not even going to attempt to go through them all because I will miss what them. We'll miss at least at least about ten of them. So, folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week with part two. Bye bye.